So let me briefly introduce another tool that's extremely useful in Boolean minimization, which is the Morgan's Law. And the Morgan's Law can effectively be used to convert and or expressions to or and expressions. So let me introduce the law. So first look up here. And so here we're saying that not x or y is equal to not x and not y. You can see, can you convince yourself that this is actually true just by looking at the truth table? So not x or y, of course, is true um, here, and then not in the other three cases. And similarly, just by looking, I provided not x and not y in these columns explicitly, so you can immediately see that not x and not y is true here and false in the other cases. So essentially what you've done here is you've replaced the or with an and, and you've replaced the bar over everything with bars over the individual variables. And similarly, if you start from not x and y, you can convert this to not x or not y. So again, you're replacing and with or in this case, and instead of having an, in, uh, an inversion or a ne negation of everything, you just negate the individual variables. And again, you know, convince yourself that it's true by completing the truth table, which in this case is 1110, and then of course the same here. So this generalizes, right? If you have an expression as shown down here for this function z, and you want to compute not z, essentially you do, again, the exact same thing, replace ors with ands, and replace the bar over everything with bars over every single variable. The only thing that I really want to point out is that it, when you do this, it's very important to keep track of these parentheses here, just because obviously you don't need them in the original expression, but you do want to have them here, because if you forget um, sort of explicit to take them into account, you'll clearly get a result that is incorrect. Okay. Good. <coughs> so let's do one more example of the Morgan's Law. And I recommend that you essentially, you know, again, pause the video, quickly do this yourself, and convince yourself that you've understood the Morgan's. Okay? So, not f, and we're going to write this somewhat explicitly, including these parentheses around products. So I'm just copying what's up there, but I'm adding parentheses. Putting a bar over everything, and then applying the Morgans. I'll just replace and by or, or by and, and invert all the variables. So this should give me not x or not y and not z or y and x or not z or not x or y and z. Okay? And then of course you could continue and just minimize this function to sort of find the most compact version.